uh, I'm Sue Robb. I'm Head of Early Years at the charity Action for Children. Um, within Action for Children, we have an Early Years team, and it's the Early Years team that works with other partners in supporting the rollout of the SEED research. The early years is a crucial time in any young child's development between birth and the age of five. It is during that time that children make the most rapid progress in their entire lives. The benefits of early years provision, they're, they're multifaceted in fact. Uh, children, it supports children's early language, it supports their personal social emotional development, it uh, helps them socialise, make friends, learn to turn take and very importantly to take risks in a safe environment. Compared to schools, early years is a very young sector. It's not got the same maturity as the school sector and so by saying that we have not got the same amount of research, the same amount of evidence-based practice, the same amount of data as colleagues have in other sectors. So for, for the sector, study of early education and development seed is absolutely crucial to give us the latest thinking on what we need to be thinking of in our practice. Many years ago, when we had EPI and EPSI, that was a real watershed moment for the sector, when through that piece of longitudinal research, we got a really good understanding of what works for our children. And so it's absolutely joyous for the sector that we are now in a situation where we have another longitudinal study which will help our practice. SEED will tell me, tell providers, what is good for our children, what is quality, what quality works. We are beginning to get a feel from the reports that are coming out of what that looks like. It is highlighting, SEED is highlighting the importance of continuing professional development, for example. So as a provider, I will be looking to ensure what CPD we have in place to take forward that very important finding.